how did I get into van life? I had never thought about being in a van before. So I really love this section. This is a section that I'm sitting in most of the day. I got a great view out. I got 700 amp hours of lithium batteries in here. Powers everything from the AC to my little toaster oven. I met a spiritual dude a long time ago and he he told me he, I was a giraffe among zebras. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name's Josh. I've been in my van for about a year and a half now. Uh, come on, check it out. Welcome to my kitchen. Uh, one of my favorite things is this wonderful little toaster oven. I use it just about every day. Um, I got my pantry up here full of things. We got more, I built these here. Um, we actually got this AC right here, which is awesome. I have so many batteries, not even needed, but this is wonderful when it gets super hot. One of the things that I chatted with with my van builder was letting him really be creative. He found this meshing um, and spray painted it blue kind of this and then continued it down here and it really tied in the whole design of the whole place. One other cool feature that we put in was uh, put the steel here, got a magnet, have all my treats lined up perfectly there, um, had this great window for extra little breeze to come in. For cooking, I got a portable stove, got a really great counter space here, get to pull this out, have extra counter space, counter space, a lot of cooking in here, um, really great for entertaining. Got an extra swivel seat, um, extra lounging chair, um, great space for to be in all the time. How did I get into van life? Um, I had never thought about being in a van before, and I had a pup that passed away during the pandemic. She was 14 years old. She was my buddy. She was the love of my life, and I just started reevaluating things and realized that I didn't have anything holding me there anymore. And, just started thinking about different possibilities and was actually scrolling through TikTok and saw this adventure van on there and went, this is kind of cool. I could maybe see myself. And the thought started kind of permeating and marinating a little bit. And then four months later, I had sold my house. I had flown to Charleston, South Carolina. I had met the guy that I saw the TikTok video and bought a van there, drove to his spot, started taping out where everything was gonna be. And here we are. One of the things that are really is important in a van is storage. So we got a ton of storage up here. We actually have more storage around here. Um, also to block things off, to make sure things a little bit more private. Got a nice curtain here. Um, also got this swivel seat so we can kind of entertain, go back and forth. Also have a heater underneath here. Um, it's really great. Got all the space I need in here. Also got a great uh, max air vent fan right here. Um, great for extra ventilation. Just open another window, wind spins right through. It's really cool. We also got a really great window here. This just pops open, slides open. Got cross ventilation, cross breeze. It's wonderful in here. One of the cool things about my van builder was a couple coincidences. One, we got along super well. The process was super easy. One, his name was Josh. My name is Josh. Uh, his birthday is July 31st. My birthday is July 31st. And the synchronicities just kept on coming. And the process was super easy, wonderful. The build has been amazing. Everything has worked the way it should and the whole time. And it's just been amazing. I am so thankful to, to Josh, my band builder. Uh, love anybody to be able to get a band from him. You'd be lucky. So I really love this section. This is a section that I'm sitting in most of the day. I got a great view out to the scenery, the ocean right now. Um, this great swivel chair seat here. Uh, got a fridge underneath here. It's both a fridge and a freezer. It's wonderful. Um, have my toilet section wonderfully down there. Hides away, nobody knows it's there except for me. And that's yeah, a beautiful section. I got my TV back here. I've got my giraffe here. And then one thing is really great for hanging out, putting computer, different things, extra counter space is always key in the van. I got 700 amp hours of lithium batteries in here, uh, powers everything from the AC to my little toaster oven, never lets me down, it's awesome. This section up here, I got my battery so I always know when I'm charged or not. I got my heater up here, um, can always blast out heat from down there. Lights and then different fans and toilets, different thing right up there. It's all kind of my electrical system up there. So I've been on the road for about a year and a half now. The first six months were solo and it was beautiful and wonderful. Um, the three weeks in, I went to a van festival in Northwest Nomads in Oregon, met a bunch of people, 
traveled with people for two or three weeks, was solo for a bit, did that for about six months from festival, traveling with people. And then I met this amazing van community, a mobile van community um, called Kift. And I've been with them for about a year and a half and we've been traveling around. Right now we're in Baja, traveling with about 25 rigs and I'm loving it. Uh, the community is really great. We do awesome things together um, and I'm just loving and enjoying life. So this is my bed area. Um, I got a custom bed. Uh, it's a little smaller than the queen, but I love how big it is. Um, I sleep this way so I can still have a good view out this way. Um, it's super comfortable. Open up the back doors. I got my whole bookshelf here. Um, I love reading, so I always get to see my favorite books, pull them out, read them whenever I need to. And probably my favorite design feature of the whole van is the porthole. I mean, come on, it's the porthole. Look at the framing my van builder did was spectacular. Everyone comes up and comments on it. I love it. I love having it fixed and not openable. So I can just have a view out. Nobody really can see in. It's a great feature. I love it. It's one of my favorite parts of the van. So up here is where all my clothes is. I got different bins up here, um, towels, all the different spots up here. Um, easy, accessible, and great space. Um, got another little space here for all my different fans. Um, all the different things fits perfectly. One of the things that I really love about having the fixed bed is the garage space underneath. Let's go check it out. So the KIF community is really amazing. Uh, we've had a number of different events. Uh, we had a summer solstice out in California. Amazing collaboration with all the different participants. So many different, uh, amazing, wonderful uh, courses and different things that were, were led, music. Um, we were just at Escobar La Baja and set up a really great camp. We had uh, DJ night, we made crepes. I think we made over 500 crepes for everybody in the, in the festival um, and we travel in caravan around. We right now we're pulling a big trailer and we have a bunch of batteries. We have a Starlink, we have a mobile kitchen, a little living room set that we pull out wherever we go to. Um, it's been a really wonderful space to meet people and travel with people. Welcome to the garage. This is one of the most important parts of the build for me. Uh, I have a lot of toys and different tools and different things that I needed to have in here. My BMX bike, adult BMX bike, it's awesome. I didn't know if it was gonna fit, it fit. Uh, have all my snorkel gear, and then water was really important. I didn't always wanna run out. So I have two 20 gallon tanks on each side. It gravity feeds to be equal. We also have a hot water heater here, and we also got this great outdoor shower. It comes right off. I got my wetsuit here, bookshelf again. Um, also have a really great rooftop deck up there. One thing that I was really happy about uh, was my van builder surprised me. He put a giraffe on here, and that's my Instagram name is In Search of Giraffes. I met a spiritual dude a long time ago, and he, he told me he, I was a giraffe among zebras. And I kind of looked at him and said, I don't know what that means. He said, sometimes a giraffe, when they're among zebras, they'll bow their head to assimilate and kind of be with the others. He said, giraffes have such amazing talents and skills. They can see the watering hole. They can see the predators coming. He said, lift your head up and go find giraffes. So that's been my mission. It's been going out and finding other wonderful people to spread joy and love. And that's what I'm after. And with that, that's my van. So everybody asks, what's next? Where are you going to next? Um, as a nomad, I don't know. Uh, uh, each day is new. Wherever the universe pushes me and pulls me, that's where I'm going. Uh, just kind of feeling the flow right now. And if you want to follow me, you can follow me on Instagram at In Search of Giraffes. And really want to give a big shout out to Tiny Home Tours for letting me do this great tour. Thanks a lot. See you guys later. Mm -hmm.